Hello everyone, let's discuss about Fishbone Cause and Effect Diagram. This is also known as Ishikawa Diagram. This was first introduced by Japanese professor Kaoru Ishikawa. This is one of the seven basic tools of quality control. Why do you call this Fishbone Diagram? Because this resembles a fish skeleton. This is also known as Cause and Effect Diagram. This is a visual brainstorming tool for problem solving and root cause analysis. Now let's discuss how to draw a Ishikawa diagram. First you need to understand the anatomy of Ishikawa diagram. It has two parts. It has effect part and it has the causes part. This is the fish head and this is the bone of the fish. First step, write the problem effect on the fish head side. The long wait time in health consultation service. Step 2, decide on 5 categories of causes for the effect. You can use the standard categories, people, environment, equipment, method and material. Step 3. Develop the causes by asking why until you have reached a useful level of detail. Now let's discuss one by one. People. Staff not available. Maybe staff members are sick. And the lateness. Maybe the doctors are late. Maybe the staff nurses are late. Maybe the other staff members are late. And patient queue jumping. Patient has originally missed the consultation time. Now patients are queue jumping. So this can cause long wait time in health consultation services. Next, the environment. There may be not enough consultation room for doctors. There may be a blocked corridor. Next, equipment. So there may be a long queue for elevator or the lift. So the poor elevator management can cause long wait time in health consultation service. Maybe wheelchairs are not available. Next method. Too much paperwork for nurses. Poor scheduling. These are the causes for method. The material. The patient has not brought their Past medical history, now the doctors has to write it again. So now you can see all the causes in a nice visual diagram known as Ishikawa diagram for problem analysis. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you very much.